Hi everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. So today we have one of those little bit different videos that I've promised you before. Tilly and I are gonna do a complete transformation. Now that she's a big girl, she doesn't need mum's rocking chair to read her a bed night, a nighttime story even, but she does want her own reading nook. So I'm gonna show you how to take an area like this, which is really cute, but we are gonna turn it into that big girl reading nook that looks like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're doing it all on a budget. So I have done every transformation in this room on well under a $50 budget, probably even less. The bookcase cost me five bucks, the store we're about to do cost me five bucks, and then it was just some paint and vinyl and a couple of finishing touches. But I'm gonna take you through the whole journey because you can do this at home. Links will be below to anything you might want to add and do yourself. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is the furniture. So let's start with our reading bench. So this reading bench did start off white, but it looked pretty shabby. So I took my favorite spray painter to set up my tent, as you can see now, and I sprayed it with the Wagner uh, Flexio system, which is great because you can do furniture, you can do fences, you saw me do my deck with it last year. So many different things you can spray with it, big spaces, small spaces, all of those kinds of things. It also has a fine nozzle if something has like really intricate spaces. So I use that on my wicker couch on my deck transformation. But for this one, I just sprayed it all white and I did the same on the bookcase. I say these are $5 pieces of furniture. They're solid wood, so they're pretty sturdy. And what I had to do was give them a fresh coat of paint. Um, but you can find out, I'm gonna link up in that top right hand corner to my deck flips. You can go and watch all of that. I showed you how to put the paint sprayer together and things. It's so simple. It's literally a few different pieces. There's a bowl in the bottom. You put one of those amazing bags in the top and then you screw it all together and off you go. It's literally as simple as it is and clean up is just as simple. You take it all apart. I soak it in some warm water and then I just give it a good clear out afterwards. So super, super simple and look how amazing this looks. There's no paint streaks in it. It's all nice and smooth and it literally took me less than 10 minutes to do both pieces. And I probably did three coats just because they were a little bit uneven and I sanded in between. So in probably just like an hour and a half, I'd painted everything, it was dry, it had a nice even thin coat on it, and now it looks like this. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this towards me so you can see a little bit more here. And I have cut out on my Cricut with pink vinyl, the words Tilly, um, which match a stool that I've done as well, if you haven't seen that one already. And then I have these swirls, and I've cut four of these swirls um, that you can see here. And the reason I did that was because you're gonna see them go down the side of the bookcase in a while, but I'm gonna give you a couple of top tips and then we'll speed up the bookcase because you really don't wanna be doing um, all of that on the screen because it will take me a little uh, minute. But here is my Tilly and it's really, really simple to do. So I'm gonna grab some transfer tape, get it to roughly the right size and cut down my grid lines, just like that. That's how simple it is. Then I'm gonna pop this on top, and what I like to do is I just kind of flick the corner, and you'll find it just gives the two layers apart. Doesn't take long at all. And once you've got it started, it's really easy. So I'm just gonna peel this off, and I'm gonna put it on top of my Tilly. Just like that. And there's a couple of little grooves in it, but we'll sort those out as we go along. And then I'm just gonna turn this over and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a scrape with, I'll just go up to that curve and I'll sort that out as we go. I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna scrape this down. Just make sure everything is stuck to my transfer tape. And this is just a regular permanent vinyl. Um, so it's gonna be really, really easy. I mean, look how easy this peels off. And we'll fit, come back and fix our tea. And I just like to bend my uh, release paper, which is this top piece. And that means that it all just comes off so, so easily. I mean, look how smooth this is. There we go. Okay, so there's our Tilly. And all I'm gonna do on this is I'm just gonna lift up this end carefully, as you can see. And before I press it back down, try not to let it go, of course. Just straighten out my transfer tape and give it a light press. And there we are, we're fixed. So now I'm gonna pick up this piece like this and I can offer it up. Now the other great thing about this transfer tape is it does have lines on it. Um, I'm gonna eyeball some of this, but 
I'm looking at it, does it look reasonably straight? Yes, it does. And that's it. So again, you can take a scraper or just a ruler works really well. These wooden rulers are great. This is a like a pyramid one and it works so well with vinyl because you can get it in all those nooks and crannies that are really important. So again, just a good press down, make sure your vinyl has stuck. I mean, how easy is this so far? And then we're gonna do the really fun part, which is peeling off this transfer paper. So again, I just start and I fold this one back in the same way I did with that release paper. And you can see it just comes off nice and easily like this. I'm gonna do the same and you can see it now on your screen with the bookcase. I'm gonna add in those swells. And then we're gonna do the really fun part, which is staging it up. And I'm gonna give you some top tips for inexpensive ways to stage an area, um, but they still look fab. So I just have one little piece on here. And you can see just by bending that back, it makes such a difference. And I'll reuse this same piece of transfer tape on the bookcases too. So there you go. There's our Tilly on here. Every piece of furniture is also going to be sealed with this polyurethane um, spray gloss on it. So I'm just gonna go over both things once I've added on the vinyl. Um, really, really simple things, but they just make a big difference and it'll seal it in so that when she's sitting on it, it's not gonna rub off too easily. Um, I can't wait. So let's finish up those bookcases and go upstairs. So we're here and it's all in place. I think it looks fab. Tilly loves it as you saw. And I wanted to just walk you through a couple of the things I did. I did some really inexpensive things too. So I wanted to show you how you can kind of hack things, make it cheap. I probably did this entire room for under 50 bucks and I made a huge difference to it. So let's start off first of all with these drapes. So this is just uh, a few yards of fabric from Joanne's. It's um, double the length of the window I worked out was about right and um, it has this beautiful kind of uh, sparkles in it. And then I just draped it over a um, curtain pole. Really, really easy, um, but makes such a difference. And then Tilly's blinds here that you can see, I added these paper stars that came with the crown above her bed. You can drape them around there if you want to. But I decided to pop them over the top of her blinds because she never actually opens these blinds um, anyway. And they're broken and right now it's not in budget to get new blinds. So I thought, well, how can I pep these up and make them look better? So before they were way too long, they were dragging down on the ground. Whereas now I just trimmed them to the right length and I added some glittery wired ribbon. So it still gives it that nice stability in the bottom, but it adds a little bit of fun texture in there too. So again, just a really easy way to dress up a window and make it look great. The uh, flower table that you saw in the pan there, that's just one that I picked out really inexpensive. I think I paid five bucks, the store was closing down, so nothing expensive there. And then you saw that great bench that we made downstairs. We spray painted the bench and the bookcase and they both look great. I mean, how different do they look from that kind of dingy yellowy color that they were before? We personalized them with Tilly, we personalized the ends of the bookcase. You could also do the top if you wanted to, but that spray painter just makes it super, super easy as you saw how quickly I managed to do that. Just staged up with all of Tilly's books. I think we're still locating some of them, but 
Most of them are in here and now she can access everything. Her Mr. Men, of course, on top. And then as we come around, I also just did this little area. There's a cushion that I made a while back and one of her favorite chairs and bunny. And there's a footstool down here that I also crocheted um, out some like t-shirt yarn. So uh, Ginger Bunny sits on top of this one here, but it looks great. And then her notepad here on her noteboard, I just did a little bit of pep up. So this was a Hobby Lobby clearance. Um, I added the same glitter bow and I just glue gunned this on. And this was just like a Dollar Tree glitter thing that I added on just to add the little princess in. And then this frame up here I made uh, with deco art when I was at the Prime Bloggers Conference earlier this year. So again, just works really well with one of their stencils. And then around the rest of the room, you saw her uh, unicorn Christmas tree. You saw the way I hung up her stuffed toys. Again, a really inexpensive solution on a command hook and that crown above her bed. So, so many different things you can do on a really, really tight budget, but love my Wagner spray gun. Thank you, Wagner, for sending me one. I have used it so many times and I have lots of projects on the way to use it with as well. And of course, it's great to create personalized gifts ready for the holidays, for a birthday, for a room. So many different options. So if you enjoyed this, don't forget to check out the links below. I'll add links for everything we used. And of course, you can check out our exclusive coupon codes down there as well for some of our favorite brands. And I will see you again tomorrow with another tip trick tutorial or maybe something a little bit different just like this. But I'll see you then. In the meantime, happy crafting and happy creating. See you then. Bye.